I am back with more readings for all of you. Hi, my friends. Hi, everybody. How are you doing? It's me, D Sparta. I hope you're doing well today. I'm. It's been a crazy, hectic day. I gotta tell you, these three days with the super blue moon, uh, uh the energy is wild. <laughs> Sleep. Mm, I, 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 no one needs to tell me on a calendar if we're having a full moon because I can feel it. And a new moon. Those phases of the moon, those two, are so distinct in how they make me feel. And the lack of sleep. And I feel for my son, he's the same way. And he's so hypersensitive. And so he's like, he was dragging through school and he had cardio at school today. And he's like, I'm tired and I'm sore and I got a migraine. I'm like, just come home, honey. <laughs> just come home. <laughs> yeah, it's just, you know, I'm sensitive to these things for my kids. I, I realize, you know, I it, it's good to be, you know, realize that, you know, this is real such th problems that they're having. <laughs> Oh man, I have missed, I'm um, doing videos and somebody, I love putting on makeup and doing all the jewelry and looking all that, I burnt myself over here. It was really bad. I was all bandaged up for like a week. I'll explain that in a moment, but I usually wear, you know, I, but it's like, it, it, sometimes it takes so much work and I don't always have the spoons. <laughs> I don't. I really, really don't. I don't even realize I'm 52 years old. I am not as young as I have been. And in a two-year period, I gained over 100 pounds. Uh, it has to do with um, hypothyroidism, having surgery where I was bedridden from the surgery for six months. And my body just... I've been having to relearn walking and doing stuff and... So I'm trying to lose this weight and it's really hard. And so I just, I don't have the energy that I used to use. I was a dancer. I was athletic. I was very active and yeah, um, I have no cartilage on my knees because of that. <laughs> you know, you just power through the pain when you're doing, when you're performing sometimes, you, you know how it is. But, um, yeah, so Having enough, it's, it's people always talk about spoons or, you know, my XP is low. <laughs> I have no more, but I have any more hit points. I'm dragging. So if I'm going to do a reading, I realize, you know, I got to make a sacrifice. So I'll put on some lipstick. My grandmother always said, pop on your lipstick, put on some mascara and you're good to go. <laughs> I adore her. I miss her so much. <laughs> So I'm gonna. So you probably see me more and more doing more videos with. Um, you know, I'm not gonna be all made up. I'm just. This is natural me. This is, except for the lipstick. <laughs> oh yeah, and the bird scar. Yeah. You'll laugh. Um, I had this necklace and I had was gonna wear it. It was gonna wear it this, the other last week or so. And I tossed it aside and there's a candle that I had burning. Okay. And the chain. And this whole part is all metal, right? It's all metal. And it was over the fire and I didn't pay attention. So when I grabbed the necklace and put it on, I basically branded myself. And it was just all the way up to the tip of this part of my chin. And it's still sensitive. <laughs> I couldn't wear makeup either because I was not going to need to heal. So yeah, I've been talking a lot, but there's so much going on and I just kind of want to let you know a little bit, you know, before we get into the reading, we're going to talk about today, we're going to talk about Kamala Harris, Vice President Kamala Harris, and former President Donald Trump. We're going to stuff leading up to what's going to happen, leading up to this election. There's more and more surprises keep happening. And, and um, people are nervous. People are excited. There's new hope. 
You could see it like a month or so ago before Biden stepped down, which, thank you, he is a hero. He put Americans first instead of ego and still rerunning. I'm going to get teary eyed. I was watching the DNC last night. I'm like, ah! the roll call. That was hot. That was fire. And I was crying through because just seeing the pride of each person in their state and standing up for what they want to believe in and being like, we got to take America back. We're not going to go backwards. We're going to go forward. We need to grow. And that is awesome. But I see Trump is crumbling. His energy is draining. And as an empath, I pick, I mean, it, it's like an energy vampire. <sighs> Reminds me of Colin Robinson, if you ever watch what you do in the shadows. He's an energy vampire. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he's not getting the crowds as he used to. They're not as energetic. And it, it's bothering him. And I'm, I, I do worry about his health right now. I do, I'm concerned, you know, as a human, I'm not, I don't want to wish horribleness on him, even though, you know, he's trying to strip me of all my rights. Thank you. But, <laughs> but I don't want, you know, something happened when he, when there was the assassination attempt, that was scary. And I also think that attempt has shook him. It, it changed. He has changed since then. So I kind of want to get in reading about comparing the two of them. So if you're with that, we're going to get into that. And yeah, let's do this, folks. Hello, everybody. So um, I'm trying to think, what deck, what deck do I want to use? Let's see what I grab. And we're going to use that, whatever it is I grabbed just now. Oh, nice. Okay, this is a good deck. Okay, so over here, I'm going to put Kamala energy. Over here, there's going to be Trump's energy. Here in the middle, America. We're in the middle. Although we're split, aren't we? I think we're getting more and more united. Ooh. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. The Ace of Cups. So, this is her energy, and this is water. This is emotion. This is starting something new. She's 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 on board. She's like this. More and more stuff is coming. She's she's prepared. She, to hear Trump. Ugh. His energy I don't like as much. Yeah. Woo, he is mad, mad, mad about Kamala. I, I mean, folks, I mean, we kind of, you know, paused, yeah. yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Just. I want to see how she feels well, let's see here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this all fell for Trump, so we're just gonna... So, temperance usually is taking time, slowing down, and it's not the time for temperance. And she realizes this. She has to push forward and to get the results. She knows she needs to fight because here's the Ace of Cups and this is the beginning. This is starting a new project. And I really see, you know, she is prepared to take on this new opportunity. This is a new opportunity for president. She, yeah, it's it, no more. She needs to push for the results. Trump over here. He's getting reckless. Okay. All right. This is really sad. And um, 
the Queen of Pentacles. This energy is uh, it, it's not good, okay? It's negative. It's got to do with being, um, he is, if he's being very self-centered, he's greedy. He is, um, trying, he's still focused on himself. It's not America that he cares about. And the Knight of Wands, it's rushing in erratically. And you know, this is fire energy and it's, he's not, it's being irresponsible and not thinking things through. It's very reckless. Very impulsive. He's being, basically being a fool. And his goal here, which is the Ten of Pentacles, is reversed. Um, it's because he his success is fleeting. He, and he's having severe money problems and family problems. He is definitely, there's problems amongst him, his children, his wife, and other members of his family. It's, it's all crumbling. Um, he, his money, it's going away. It's going, it's, he's, it's what lost. And here's the four of cups. And He's not, he's looking at the wrong opportunities. He's, he's got narrow mindedness. He's narrow minded, focused on one thing and not seeing a bigger picture. It's like people are trying to tell him, Hey, you know, we got to look into this. we got to do this. But instead we're seeing, um, he's, he's apathetic. He's disconnected. He's very bored. He wants to withdraw. He doesn't have the energy. He's like, why am I doing this anymore? Why am I doing this anymore? It's lost and empty emotions. And I, you know, whew, yeah, I, let's do a little bit more for Kamala. Wow, I'm not getting these cards. And okay. All right. Okay. And here's the star reversed. She sees, she's recognizing that America has lost faith and our, our broken dreams. And she wants to bring healing. Um, here's the Nine of Swords. And it's reversed. And this is just... She's trying to reach out. And encourage people. Because there's been such a lack of hope. And not seeing tr dreams come true. She wants people to... She's trying... She's taking the time to... Um, she has definitely thought about everything. You know, it's just who she is, what she has to do, and not feel overwhelmed. This is a time for introspection and renewal. She has seen, you know, watched all this happening to America, and she's feeling that the burden, the overwhelm of. I need to get my, I, I, people are relying on me. It's this energy of, whoa, can I handle this? Because everyone's hopes and dreams are dependent on me right now. And that's what we're seeing here. And she's, she's, she's seen this so much loss and despair. And as she's traveling and she wants to bring the hope and she's trying not to get overwhelmed and she's realizing she needs to, take care of herself not let the stress overwhelm her anymore she she she's she's learning to balance all that because here's some more cards for her okay the sun she's got the strength and the hope and it's coming through the sun is going to bring is bringing light to and it's going to, it's success. And this is a celebration. It's time to celebrate. Okay. 
And we got death in the page of cups. And what I'm seeing here, death is reversed. And this is this is a new beginning, okay? This is there is the people over here, MAGA, they're they're afraid of change. They're afraid of um <laughs> Of others getting freedoms that they're going to lose theirs and it's an imbalance and it's a very emotional and irrational belief this is a page of cups very irrational very very irrational they don't it's um it's an trump has an emotional immaturity about him and so do a lot of MAGA, and that's why you know they're relating to him is because they feel this kind of connection that he, you know, he says things that they wish they could because they're just that, you know, racist and the, the bigotry and the entitlement is, is raging. Um, so I think right now, um, I think Trump is... He wants to quit, but he can't. Biden quit. And so he's trying to make it look like he, Biden, um, he was forced to, he's trying to pull, spread a lie. And it's not going to work out really well because what's going to happen with this election? Everything that he had tried to do and all of this all the way the Republican Party has taken away freedoms and the right to um, for a woman's control over her own body. It's all going to come crumbling down and it's to be rebuilt. So I think we're going to see we're, I, it's like we're going to see at this election some major changes. And it has some people scared. And I see the major changes is going forward. Um, let's see here. Clarification with the election. <sighs> the Queen of Swords. This is our woman here, Kamala. And the Queen of Swords, this energy is is the Libra. This is the balance. She's going to bring a balance back. Um, clearness. She's, gonna, she's bringing brutal honesty. I think in the past people have been quiet or... You know, not wanting to look bad by saying horrible things. Oh, you know what? I had transitioned. Here, here's the cards. Okay, you see the two here. This is this is this is important, folks, because she's coming. She's going to be the one rebuilding and bringing hope. I I guess I, the, the way things are going right now, it looking like she's going to win. Her momentum is building and building. So, that is my reading for today. Um, what's happening between with, with Kamala, Kamala and uh, Trump leading up to the election? If you like this reading, please like, subscribe, comment below. If <laughs> and, you know, I have had to block some of you. <laughs> Why do you bother? Why do you bother coming to my channel if you don't like me and you want to put me down? So it's like constructive criticism is different from just bullying and harassing and name calling. And I'm not going to tolerate that in my page. You are going to be respectful to my viewers and you're going to be respectful to me. And if you're not... It's not tolerated. It's a goodbye. Okay? 
just want to put that out there, folks. <laughs> um, I love you all so very much. I do hope to get another video out soon. I'm going to be doing some stuff more on TikTok. And I'm working on, right now, I'm, I'm juggling here, folks. I'm finishing up and getting the editing and finishing up right the um, second book in my Celestial Legacy series. Breaking the Heavens is already out and you can purchase it. I'm going to be putting special signed and limited edition copies of this book over on my TikTok shop that I'm opening up soon. And there's going to be lots of cute little tchotchkes and things to go with it. And then I'm also going to, um, uh, as I'm right, finishing up Descendants of the Heavens, which is book two. I'm working on a workbook on how, on how to learn to use tarot. And I want to emphasize people, it's not about memorizing what these cards stand for, okay? What each card, you have to go by your intuition and the imagery that you're seeing on your deck. Because sometimes the spirit's trying to show you something that, you know, it's like, well, this card doesn't seem like it would have anything to do with this reading, but then there's like, oh, there's an image, there's a symbol in here, and that's what I'm supposed to notice. And that's, you know, so memorizing, oh, is this, have to, this belong, this means this, and this is to connect it to this. You don't need all that. So all these tutorial decks that have all the messages on it, and people think it's so helpful, you need to trust your guides, your God, goddess, your gods, your, your spiritual team, your ancestors, the angels, whom you choose, the spirit, you know, I still feel very connected to the Holy Spirit and the angels and my ancestors and Hecate and even Jesus Christ, you know, and I just, I feel as drawn to him and they help me in my readings okay and so it's different for everybody you know i kind of like my spiritual team you know over here and that is, that's just the way it is for me so if, if things seem a little different because i got people going oh that card's not supposed to mean that and i'm like but for me it did for this reading you know but if you spot something, like you started sensing something in some of the cards that I could have missed, just, hey, let me know. I love seeing and hearing which, what you were seeing and sensing during the readings. And when you put, comment with that, I appreciate it so much. So thank you all. Remember, be kind to yourselves. Be kind to others. And I will see you around. I promise. Bye. <laughs>